What up guys, Miguel here from Yigatech and holy cow, it's 2024. In this video, we are checking out a really nice tablet from the folks over at Huawei. It's the MatePad Pro 13.2 inch. This stunning and kind of pricey tablet is not for the faint hearted. It's a tool made to possibly update your productivity workflow depending on what it is you actually do for work. But if it has something to do with taking down notes or minutes in your handwriting or typed, answering emails, going on video calls, and even digital illustrations and research, something like the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch could possibly be the best alternative to all of this. Let's dive in. Introducing the third generation Huawei M Pencil, which now utilizes near-link short-haul wireless tech over traditional Bluetooth. That's what this looks like. Nearlink allows for better accuracy and latency and adds six times the pressure collection sensitivity. And well, obviously, you can totally feel it. To demonstrate, here's about 18 pieces of bond paper with the 19th one. I just printed a picture of the Yucatec logo on. I'll stack them up with the printed paper on top of everything. And I'll be tracing the Yugatech logo to demonstrate the collection sensitivity of the third generation M pencil with the tablet. Obviously I'll be tracing this, I'll be putting it on top of the tablet and then, you know, I'll be tracing the logo. Yep. And I'll be creating a quick new note. Here you see it's like I have a blank piece of paper. Okay, here we go. And just like that, you can see the likeness is uncanny. <laughs> Overall, the pen feels really nice to write and draw with. And to my eyes, it feels very, very accurate. Now, jumping into Huawei's very own notes app. The notes app is this blue guy over here. We can open a new note here on the top right plus icon and select new note. When I select the pencil tool and draw some lines, you can see the variation in pressure and I can get a feel for how much it actuates. I'm not sure how it translates on camera, but I kid you not, it feels really comfortable and just fantastic. I'm not saying it feels like I'm writing or drawing on traditional paper, but something about the feel reminds me of drawing with a ballpoint pen. A nifty productivity feature you can also do with the M Pencil is Annotate. You can activate it by swiping down from the top right corner of the screen with the M Pencil to access its quick menu. Like so. Or, like me, you can set the M Pencil's double tap feature to activate it or deactivate it, like so. From here, we select Annotate and what it does is allow you to draw, highlight, point out, or even take handwritten notes on anything on the screen. It's like a screenshot plus, if you will. So this is my screenshot. I can be like, oh, oh, it's time to download that app. Time to download that app. Time to open that app or something. Let's just play tic-tac-toe over here, you know? And that's basically it, which is pretty fun. Like I will demoed right there for like breaking down shot compositions or just taking handwritten notes and stuff like you on stuff you screenshot, I mean. Going back into the notes app, let's say you have a meeting or slide you need to present. We can import a presentation in PDF format or even an image slideshow if you want it. And from there, we could present them on the MatePad Pro 30.2 inch itself or even connect the tablet to a projector or display via a Type-C to HDMI dongle or something. Or, better yet, just cast the MatePad Pro screen over Wi-Fi via wireless projection here in the drop-down menu over there. From here, when presenting, you could use the laser pointer tool over here as like a virtual pointer for your presentation to highlight or emphasize words, images, and diagrams apart from writing or drawing around everything like you could with Annotate. The possibilities are kind of endless. And it's all really intuitive with somewhat of a learning curve that I found really easy to get used to. Now, let's first move on to another accessory that pairs really well with the M Pencil. And it's these nifty magnetic smart keyboard attachments. It comes in two pieces that virtually turn the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch into a laptop. Let me show you guys. So first we get the actual keyboard attachment and you connect it to the bottom of the tablet when it's in its proper horizontal position and it kind of just snaps like so then you get the rear cover and stand portion 
and line it up with the cutout for the camera module and presto we are in business we can just pop this stand out like this and now it's basically a laptop so the stand is adjustable to almost all the way of the protractor Whoop. I'd say it's about 160 or so degrees. All the way like this is what they call studio form. See how like the M pencil magnetizes like where it should be right here. And if you had it on a table, it's at that perfect angle, which should provide illustrators and artists better posture, perspective, and less distortion when drawing. And the tension's pretty nice too. I just hope it lasts longer than we expect it to. And yes, you can use the keyboard detached from the tablet because it connects via Bluetooth, which I did a lot of when karaoke with the family over the holidays, which was pretty neat. We had like the tablet display it's over there, and then, you know, could kind of just control it from here, like so. It has its own cursor. I open YouTube, bang. Let me just bang. It's karaoke time, you know what I mean? And that's kind of just how I did karaoke with the family over the holidays. We just let it play there. We had like microphones and you could just search the song with this. The ultimate song book for karaoke leveraged by the power of the internet, you know. It was pretty fun. Oh, and the magnetic flap of the attachment also magnetizes to the base of itself for better handling when unattached, which I thought was really cool as well. And it features a large trackpad with gesture support, which I instinctively figured out without really looking up because I don't know if that's just how dub proof always trackpad gestures are or if it's because I'm a consumer technology genius. I'm pretty sure it's the latter. <laughs> Here's a list of eight gestures you can do real quick. Here you go. The keys themselves are of the chiclet variety at 1.5 millimeters of key travel. The actual keyboard itself is composed of six rows of 79 keys, making it a 60% with the one key split up and down keys over here. And overall, tactility does feel good. The responsiveness can leave a little bit more desired when coming from a sleep, but overall, it's comfortable to type on and easy to get used to. For a more PC-like productivity experience, the Huawei MatePad Pro introduces new aspect ratios when adjusting the sizes of different pop-up windows to take advantage of the 13.2-inch display. And when you pair this up with the WPS Office PC app, not to be mistaken for the WPS Mobile app, we get an even more PC-like experience when creating documents, spreadsheets, and presentations, allowing you to save and export your files in all the widely used formats. And yes, you can use the tablet itself with a mouse as well. For more creative workflows, like I said in the intro, it's 2024. We have things like Canva now for graphic design work, amongst other things. Then for video editing, there's CapCut, which I always seem to hear good things from. All of that you could install in your Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch and effectively turn it into a PC or laptop replacement. To be honest though, those apps make me feel old and sometimes they get me when I realize all I'm doing is complicating things for myself when there are simpler and just as effective solutions available. But of course, that's a preference discussion at the end of the day. And as always, if there's a will, there's a way. One more thing I wanted to highlight for productivity is the Superhub integration you get from the WPS Office 2.0 app, allowing users to seamlessly copy and paste anything from the clipboard to your documents and alike. Now, we definitely need to highlight the MatePad Pro 13.2 inches build and design. Our unit is in this green colorway and it's a bit of a muted green and kind of more like a blue, depending on your mood but it is also officially available in golden black. Without all the cool attachments and accessories, this tablet is 5.5 millimeters thin and weighs about 580 grams, which is lighter than a lot of 12 inch tablets out there. And despite all that, the tablet's build still motivates confidence with its sturdiness and appeal with its rounded corners and sides. 
When viewing the tablet in the proper horizontal position, you can tell so by the centered notch of the display that houses the front-facing camera and time-of-flight 3D sensors here. You can find the orange accented power button on the left side, along with a set of speaker grills that house three out of six stereo speaker drivers. At the rear is where we really see most of the tablet's color. Here, you also find the dual camera setup housed in that circular camera module that also features a flash and microphone. And at the center, we get Huawei's signature chromed up on what Huawei explains as a glass fiber material, fiberglass, that feels nice to the touch and features a micro sand texture, which I believe gives the rear the overall frosted glass look and feel, making it quite resistant to fingerprints and smudges. Overall, it's a good look on a tablet, and in general, the build of the MatePad Pro 13.2 inch is great. Honestly, the magnets are quite strong as well. You can just snap it on like this and what? What? But hey, what about this tablet's absolute eye candy feature, this beautiful 13.2 inch Full HD Plus OLED display? It features a 144Hz refresh rate at a touch sampling rate of 360Hz at a resolution of 2880 by 1920 and it gets a peak brightness of 1000 nits. But before you worry about melting your eyeballs away, you can rest assured knowing it also gets that Tuve Rainland Global Eye Care 3.0 certification, which is the most comprehensive standard for mobile device eye protection testing. And above all that, this display leverages Huawei's X True Display technology, which means accurate and high depth color reproduction, an authentic high contrast ratio, HDR, and the aforementioned super smooth refresh rate and response times. All that in combination with the superb soundstage from those two multi-driver speaker arrays which total to six speakers transform the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch into a media consumption haven. And I'm not exaggerating here. I've used this tablet as a display and speaker over the holidays a lot. It's great for watching movies even while on the go or away from home with friends and family. And as a speaker alone, it's the impressive and surprising loudness along with the tremendous depth and clarity really elevated all the times I had the homies over for Chill Newmans. I even used it for home karaoke. Again, I also dabbled in some light mobile gaming with the tablet through Mobile Legends and some Genshin Impact. And yes, Genshin Impact is not natively supported in the Huawei app gallery, but it was a non-issue as it easily became accessible with Gbox install. Now, you might be wondering, with all these laptop alternative features in this sleek and fancy tablet, how's the battery life? Well, the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch sports a 10,100mAh battery with support for 88W wired Huawei Supercharge technology. After running it through PC Marksworks 3.0 battery loop test, it garnered us a result of 9 hours in 44 minutes. This was with the screen kept at 50% brightness, airplane mode turned on, and the volume muted to account for mixed usage variables. It is rated for about 12 hours of mixed use, which in any case is still quite longer than most traditional Windows laptops. And heck yes, the 88 watt charging brick comes in the box. Because if you ever did need to charge the tablet throughout the day, with the included brick, you can get it back to 100% in about an hour, which for a 10,100 milliamp hour battery is superb. So to conclude this video, we need to answer the question, who is this tablet for? Well, to be fair, it's kind of a mixed bag. As great as this is as a multimedia machine for video and music consumption, it's without a doubt a tool for work, productivity, and the multimedia stuff is just kind of a bonus. I say tool because this Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch starts at 59,999 pesos for the 12GB of RAM plus 256 gigs of internal storage configuration and 64,999 pesos for the 12 plus 5 12 gig variant. Now, is it worth the money for students and professionals looking to replace their laptops with something lighter and arguably more versatile? Yes, we think so. But you need to be invested not only in the tool you purchased, but also in your discipline to make it your productivity powerhouse. With that in mind, 
I see this perfect for administrators, copywriters, graphic designers, and social media managers. For those interested in picking up a Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch, there's a promo going on from February 2 to 29 of 2024 because, yep, this year's a leap year. It includes a free Bluetooth mouse, a pair of Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2. You also get PC level WPS Office for superb laptop like productivity on the tablet, as well as a one year premium subscription from View, and of course, the third generation M pencil and the magnetic keyboard attachment we saw earlier in the video. But hey, what do you guys think about the Huawei MatePad Pro 13.2 inch? Does it have what it takes to replace your laptop or PC for work or school? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative or educational, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. And don't forget to subscribe to our socials. That's Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And once again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.